guidance was such a betrayal. You know, DeVos claims she's seeking justice, but it's not justice when the Secretary of Education is meeting with so-called men's rights activists who have dismissed... It's not justice when you're denying protections to trans and gender non-conforming students you what's also not justice, the new interim guidance issued by the Department of Education. It's not justice when an unreasonably high standard of evidence deters survivors of sexual violence from coming forward. It's not justice that schools can allow perpetrators but not survivors to appeal cases. It's not justice when schools aren't held accountable for prompt investigations and it's not justice when the burden of accommodations falls squarely on survivors. Title IX guidance needs to be improved, but not by stacking the system against the students it was meant to serve. And where has Harvard been? Silent. In the face of a president who has condoned sexual assault with his words and actions, and a secretary of education who is actively rolling back Title IX rights, silence is complicity. Silence from Harvard means that this university is ready to silence us. But we don't accept that. So we call on Harvard to publicly commit to protecting survivors' access to education, including by immediately committing to upholding the preponderance of the evidence standard. It's too late to keep assailants out of the Oval Office, but we must work to keep assailants out of our schools. white supremacist Charles Murray. Yeah. Stop legitimizing capitalists who seek to turn a profit on destroying public education and des denying survivors basic rights. Yeah. That's, that's you over here. Stop legitimizing transphobes who try to take away the few protections trans students ever had to contend with. Yeah. Young people can't learn when the person who raped them sits behind them in class. And I watched my friends pushed out of school because when they reported violence, their deans told them to go take a year off and work at Starbucks and come back with a rape is not fair. And we're not that's not legal and we're not gonna stand for it. So student survivors have been fighting for a right to learn uh, for a very long time, and for a long time we've been fighting that fight alone. In 2011, that changed when the Department of Education under President Obama issued new guidelines uh, reminding schools that Title IX, federal civil rights law, requires schools to take sexual assault seriously and support survivors. That document changed the game. It was a promise the federal government took our civil right to learn free from harassment, discrimination, and violence seriously, and that our schools should too. That document was a promise that the the Department of Education and that the Obama administration had our backs. Today, uh, things are different. It's 2017, and a man who openly brags about sexual assault is in the White House. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, we, and now we're back here fighting for those same rights. Last Friday, Betsy DeVos rescinded that guidance that protected two survivors. She rescinded 
decision made that they were going to support student survivors, and she is risking taking us back to the days when schools routinely swapped sexual assault under the rug, and they routinely violated survivors' rights. 